Alright guys, how to grab back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. Welcome back to Van and Rostermania in a very interesting interview with new head coach Psycho of the Sentinels. He's revealed that Tenza's denied accusations from the community that he isn't 100% committed to the success of his team, saying that last season the team definitely didn't give him the drive that he will once again have going into this new roster for 2023. Very much enjoy your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that one. Plenty to discuss today. Firstly, this from Paper X, confirming their sixth player being none other than Cigarettes. Now, I don't know this guy, and apparently he's basically just a streamer, and I'm really confused what exactly is going on this. They've got, of course, their five guys, and then the final um, Infinity Stone, I suppose, is none other than Cigarettes. So this is what they confirmed last night. Please welcome our sixth player. So yeah, sixth player, not, of course, going to be on the starting team, but um, yeah, still pretty funny. They've got some CS highlights. They've got some PUBG highlights going on here. They've got some Valorant highlights. And uh, the guy actually gives like a bit of an interview here. And he, as he says, I don't know why they chose to sign me, he said, which I thought was kind of funny here, right? So he's basically just like a streamer to my understanding. But um, yeah, I don't know. Cigarettes is clearly the missing piece that they needed. Actually, I don't know why Paper X asked me to join, he says. Like, uh, I'm just some streamer. So I don't know. Cool stuff, I thought. But regardless, that is going to be the team for next season with Cigarettes as uh, the crucial member of the team. We saw Forsaken and stuff joking around at who the sixth player was going to be. Turns out at this guy, so pretty cool stuff, but I'm um, still a little bit confused. But as I say, all teams have to have a sixth man, so this is the thing that teams that have not confirmed one yet are going to have to confirm something. We saw that Sentinels, of course, with Sick as their sixth man, very funny, and um, we've seen other teams, potentially 100 Thieves as well, implying what their sixth man might be, as we'll see in a second. But uh, yeah, this is the Paper X roster for next season with their new sixth man. And um, well, let's talk about the guard, because they've got a sixth man as well, but Sire player is not going to be it, so confirm Confirmed the guard from the guard last night. Sire player back to T1. So a lot of the drama already with T1 from, um, you know, Sire player when he was formerly known as Spider or he was Sire player. They asked him to change to Spider uh, for whatever reason. And uh, that didn't work out too well for him. He comes back to the guard, comes back to Sire player and then was actually dominating people last season. So he's back to T1, right? Which um, I think is cool stuff for the team. And they confirmed last night. Munchkin, Zeta, Ban and Sire. So Ban is kind of the import player. Now, the final player, Bjornjan here. Now, he's got a pretty, like, that's a pretty cracked name, I can't lie. But this guy, like, I haven't heard of him personally. He has 600-odd followers. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's one of these Jet main ranked play demons. So I don't really know what it is for T1 are just loving Jet players. But um, I think he's going to be the sixth man. So they confirmed last night to the roster, expect the unexpected. Like, um, so this is their team. And, uh, of course, the video here finishes rather kind of abruptly because the rest of it, I believe, is over their YouTube. But, um, yeah, still, like, these are the five players they mentioned. But these are not the five players on their team, I don't think, just because, um, well, firstly, a Sire player confirmed Sire player is not T1 Spider anymore, so that's good for him. He's probably going to be back in business, and honestly, they're building a great team. I'm excited for it, but I don't know if this top player is actually going to be on their starting team, just because their coach Autumn, formerly, of course, Autumn and Zeta of Cloud9, confirms Munchkin's the IGL, Sire is our duelist, Zeta is a god, Ban is an import slot, and then Biomjun is our sixth man. So, um, you know, I guess he has a kind of um, a goat emoji here, between commas, maybe confirming that there's going to be, you know, six man coming through. But um, yeah, so still, they confirmed their team, but yet they only confirmed five guys, and one of them apparently is their sub. So who's the sixth going to be, or who's the fifth going to be, right? I don't know, but uh, still, these teams are doing it different right now. Still pretty cool, though. Sire confirmed to T1. I think that's kind of a nice move all around. So definitely a lot of uh, super teams, you could argue super teams, being formed all across the world. But what does that mean for the guards? Because we think the guard are going to stay in Valorant. They, of course, sold off uh, Sire. It is interesting to me, really, Really, because let's say guys like Trenton's, you know, even Valin were getting picked up. Like, let's say for some reason, let's say like 100 Thieves wanted to go with Valin instead of Stella, and then they sold in that way. And then Trent, let's say they were going to be able to sell Trent to Sentinels, I don't know, in some weird parallel universe. Then what would the guard do? Because like they've obviously lost many of their players, but they've also sold them on. Would that be a good time to say, you know what, it's time to call it a day in Valorant and move on and not do tier two? But because they still have these guys contracted to them, they might as well stick around, which seemingly is what they're going to do here. The Guard 2023 with Trent and Valin and, and of course part of the other roster. They might change out some of their players, Jonah P and stuff. There's some questions about whether he's going to stay or come back or what the plan is going to be there. It's not guaranteed what the Guard are going to do but um, still because they've got these players signed, why not double down right? And still real surprise to me that especially Trent for example wasn't picked up by one of the top teams but Evil Genius is moving differently. Now 100 Thieves quickly, let's talk about them because expect the unexpected they've officially done it again. Bang says it expect 
the unexpected, as does Will. So Will and Bang are still on this train. Just because Will has left 100 Thieves and has been dropped from 100 Thieves doesn't mean that they aren't still in a group chat together doing stuff like, well, on Twitter, as you can see. And also this to mention from Xander, he drops the hundreds. And even Mike says, now the head coach of 100 Thieves after Sean Gares has stepped into content, you guys have to be stopped at Will at Bagzera. And then he drops the skull emoji, the reply. So what is going on here, right? Because Xander, we've kind of heard this being teased. Xander to 100 T. Like, um, of course, could have been the IGL for the team. But we think Stella's going to stay as the IGL there. The rumor has it that the, lo the roster is now locked for 100 Thieves. And um, yeah, they're going to keep Stella and double down with the plan that they had with now Cryo up instead of Will. But um, still, is Will going to come back as the sixth man? Bang, of course, is going to be there. Is Xander going to be the sixth man? What exactly is going on, right? And they're still messing around about this on Twitter as it stands. So difficult to predict, but um, yeah, intrigued to your thoughts because that's the thing. We know the sixth man for some teams. We don't know it for many other teams. The likes of, uh, of course, we saw Thwaifo potentially NRG sixth man. Who's it going to be for 100T? Xander. Is Will going to come back into that position? Because he's definitely still getting involved in them on the timeline. Let's talk about Sentinels. Then we know they're sixth man. And they were kind of talking here about the fact that their comms are going to be fine. Sassy speaks perfect English and Pancada is silver in Duolingo. So we're going to be fine. So look, he's got some time Pancada to learn and make sure everything's going well and going okay. But it was a really interesting interview with Wyatt interviewing Psycho, now head coach of Sentinels. And he was talking about the conversations that he had with the players. He was making the calls, right? Who stays? Who's going to go? Talked to Shazam, talked to Shroud, talked to Tens to try and make up his mind. What were the problems with the previous Sentinels team? Who should I keep? Who should I let go? And he was not sold at all on keeping Tens. Like um, he knew the reputation of Tens and even Tens addressed that to Psycho himself and said, you know what? There's this reputation of me where like um, I don't want to try. I don't want to commit 100%. That's not the case with a team that I really want to play with. And um, of course, like everyone knows how mechanically gifted Tens is and can be and what his peak performance can be when everything is going well. And Psycho spoke to him and was not sure when he went into the conversation whether Tens would be, whether he would keep Tens on Sentinels or not. But based on the words that Tens said, denying some of these accusations, convinced Psycho that doubling down on Tens is exactly the correct decision for this roster. If you know someone has the mechanics, but maybe they're lacking in another area like communication or drive to succeed or drive to participate, like those are coachable qualities, right? So I looked at Tyson as if we can harness this, this stud of like firepower and like inspire him to want to like come in every day and, and do his best and, and give his most for his teammates and surround him with people who are working hard every day, surround him with coaches who are going to work with him individually and as a team every day. Uh, we may be able to get him back to where he was or even push him further than what we ever saw with the original Sentinels roster. So uh, the step step one to that was just getting in a call with him. And, and you know, I had calls with all the the previous Sentinels members or most of them, uh, you know, Shroud, Shazam, all these guys. To, to paint this picture of like what the old roster was, like what the problems were, like yeah. get e everybody's input on like each other. And my big thing with Tyson was it, it definitely seemed like there was some sort of like lack of drive. And so I said, like, I just want to get in the call with him. And if he can convince me that he wants this and he's willing to put in this effort and take part in this new system and buy into what we want to do here, which is just work hard and win and bring home t uh, trophies, then I will take a chance on him. And so, you know, we got in that phone call and one of the first things he said was, I didn't even have to prompt it. He said, look, I know this is, there's this public perception of me that I don't want to work hard, that I don't want to compete. I just want to be a streamer. And I just want you to know that that is false. I want to win. I want to compete. And he kind of, you know, just said, I wasn't really happy with how the last roster was going, like how the, the system, the atmosphere was. But if I'm surrounded by people who want to succeed, like I was saying, um, I will put in the work and, and I will be the player you need me to be. And I walked away from that conversation feeling confident that he meant what he was saying and confident in my ability as a coach and Kaplan's ability as a coach. And um, our unannounced assistant coach's ability as a coach as well to to develop this player and drive him. Um, and that was it. You know, I, I, I don't think that there's anybody else out there that is going to match his level of mechanics. So what do you guys think about that, right? Pretty interesting that Ten's kind of admitted to some degree that, yeah, his drive wasn't quite there at the end of last season. The team that he was with and wasn't really giving it his all because that's the thing. When you're a player that has such a massive brand and a streaming presence, it's probably not always so easy to fully commit, especially if the team isn't doing so well, to being the best player you possibly can be. But um, yeah, look, obviously he's convinced Psycho, and I think for good reason that uh, he is exactly the man to commit to for this roster going forwards. 
and um, it's pretty much denied the accusations that some of levels that um, you know all he cares about is streaming and he's not fully committed to being the best uh, Valorant player that he possibly can be so he said outright that's not the case no issues at all for him going forward Psycho definitely buys that and I think you know what could we get anyone better than 10 for this particular role seems very unlikely anyway so I think a very sensible decision that uh, Sentinels have made here but it's interesting to me that because we heard the rumors at the time that 10 was not a shoe in right he wasn't a guarantee to be staying there in the roster and clearly going into that conversation he wasn't Psycho wanted to hear a certain thing from him and then um, you know clearly what he heard from Shazam or even from Shroud didn't um, you know didn't put him in the mindset to think that those were guys that he wanted to keep on but also he wanted to know what were the issues with the roster before and therefore what can he do to potentially heal them going forward and he reckons that with the coaching staff and Kaplan and Psycho and everyone involved they're going to get the best out of 10s potentially going to push him to levels beyond he was even at his peak which is uh, quite the same as really from Psycho but we'll see if uh, well they can possibly do that certainly they are trying their best with the roster that they have formed speaking of some other rosters real quick this is the Game Changers World Championship all the teams have now been confirmed I think the Brazilian team I think Liquid maybe they got through with winning some sort of finals last night so these are the eight teams that will be flying out to Berlin in short order I believe in November to play at the Game Changers World Championships these are the eight teams in attendance I don't know who the favorites are really Carl Nine White of course and I think the G2 team is known to be very good as well so definitely excited to see how that one progresses and just to finish off with a couple of interesting stats this from Will might have thought this is really interesting actually this is the top players in kills per round after round 20 so when it comes to crunch time when the game is going to be won or lost which players turn up and those players are Leo, Cryo, Tens, Chronicle, Leaf, Shazam are the top ones pretty cool stuff I think this is uh, I guess over the course of international events and I suppose like if you're just such a dominant team that you beat F1 13 to 5 then you're never going to even find yourself on this list but uh, still I guess these are some of the players that really turn up when it matters most and uh, we've got some familiar names right at the top of the list right here and just before we finish off wanted to mention this for you guys we've been killing it with the content the last few days on the Breaking Point Valorant channel if you guys haven't checked out the channel yet I'll leave a link down below in probably every single video from now on we did a great video on Sassy and Pancada just showing some of their highlights if you guys are Sentinels fans want to see some of these guys best clips check them out in the link below and don't forget to subscribe to it as well because many more great pieces of content to come over the coming days and weeks but very much enjoy to your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new take care and I'll see you next time